Hey everybody, Aaron here from Comic Booked uh, for my Monday evening uh, Funko Pop haul. So I've got uh, some pops from the last few weeks that I picked up and I thought I'd show them off and just show you guys the great stuff that's out there. Uh, some of the stuff's older and I was able to pick up off of eBay or different places and then some of the stuff I found in the stores. One thing I even bought directly off of the Funko store online because it was limited uh, one set per customer. It's pretty cool. You have to see it. So we'll start off with some stuff I just got the other day from eBay. Actually bought it last week, just got it in the mail. Um, I you know, really like Supernatural. We've been watching through the seasons, and we just finished season 11, started on season 12, so we're like a season and a half behind right now. Uh, so I you know, went out looking for some of the old um, Supernatural pops, and I found this one, Castiel as Steve, and this is uh, from The French Mistake. So it was, uh, it was a pretty cool one. It's where he's dressed as, as Steve. The uh, the actor who plays Castiel, and that was pretty pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> then there is um, Castiel, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. And I think this one was supposed to be like a Hot Topic pre pre release or something, but the sticker must have fallen off. So uh, still pretty neat. Um, but this was a Hot Topic exclusive, and it's Castiel with the black wings, the the angel wings. So you can kind of see a little better on the side. But that was a neat one to pick up. And if you don't know, Castiel is the angel who's helped Sam and Dean Winchester through most of the series. Um, I know he came in in I don't know, season three or so and, and helped him out. Um, and then one of the brothers, Dean Winchester, with the first blade. You can see that there in his hand. It was a Hot Topic exclusive. And that was a, a pretty neat one to pick up, too. So got those all from uh, a guy off of eBay. It's a pretty, pretty neat, uh, neat bunch of uh, pops. So then I went to, to Hot Topic because I had some hot cash and wanted to use it or a coupon or something. You know, sometimes the coupons are pretty good. You buy X number of dollars worth of stuff and you get X number of dollars off. So I think this was like $50, you get $10 off or whatever it was. So um, I picked up the Donald as a wizard from Kingdom Hearts, and it's a Hot Topic exclusive. You can see he's got a, a wizard hat on in there. And you can see him a little better on the side. And I picked up uh, from Walmart, Stan Lee as the general from Captain America Winter Soldier. Oh, I'm sorry, Captain America First Avenger. And I just found a bunch of these at Walmart, um, and they were, they're were they on the shelf right now. So I don't know if it's just a new, a new shipment or if it's something they found in the back and decided to put out. I had a notion to go buy a few more because I see that they're listing for quite a bit higher than what they are at the store. Uh, so you still buy them for $8.97 or whatever it is. Um, at Hot Topic, I also picked up Mickey Mouse, and this is the crystal or the, the, the sparkly uh, diamond edition Mickey Mouse, so that was pretty neat. I also, um, if you've watched Rick and Morty, uh, and you've watched you know the first couple seasons, then I'm sure you've seen Scary Terry, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool to get Scary Terry with no pants on. Um, so that was uh, just a neat, a neat character from Rick and Morty. Hot Topic exclusive that I picked up. Also from Hot Topic, I got a Flocked Abu from Aladdin, Disney, one of the Disney pops. So the Flocked ones are always pretty cool because you can see he's got fur on him. It's pretty neat. And also from Walmart, I got the Wonder Woman with the Mother Box from Justice League. I know she doesn't actually ever have the Mother Box in the movie from what I've heard. But they did a whole uh, set of the different characters with each one holding a mother box. So those were Walmart exclusives. And I actually picked up a couple, sorry, picked up a couple copies of that uh, just in case. There were only, I think, three in the store. Actually, there are four. I gave somebody one for Christmas. Um, also from Barnes & Noble. And I always pick up exclusive from Barnes & Noble, especially if there's only like one on the shelf. And that was the Batgirl exclusive. The 8-bit Batgirl. So that was pretty neat. And let's see. What else do I have in my bag? Oh, yes. Uh, I also found another Hot Topic exclusive, Furiosa. And she's missing her arm from Mad Max Fury Road. So that was a neat character. And one of the last things that I bought um, out in... Well, actually, I got two things. One more thing. I also found Mysterion as a mini from South Park. I thought that that was cool. 
Kenny's uh, superhero character, superhero alter ego, alter ego. And then I picked up the uh, PX exclusive, the pre previous exclusive uh, Ghost Rider that glows in the dark. That was pretty neat. All right. So all of those, uh, most of these you can find out in the wild right now. If you go out to the different stores, Barnes & Noble should still have the 8-Bit Batgirl, um, the Wonder Woman. I haven't seen any of those at Walmart lately, but I did buy those a couple months ago. Um, all of the other ones, the Hot Topic ones I just bought, except for the the uh, Supernatural ones, which I got on eBay. I got a pretty good deal. So, All right, and then last week, I believe it was last week or week before, was uh, National Pizza Day. And... Um, Funko did a special release of Ninja Turtles, a full set of Ninja Turtles, but they did a cool limited edition, and they were neon versions of the Turtles in celebration of National Pizza Day. So you got Leonardo in a neon blue, and the limited edition Funko, and I really liked that they shipped them in these little boxes. So you can actually just fold that box right back up, put them away in there, I thought that was really, really neat. And they came with some awesome bubble wrap. <laughs> you gotta love a bubble wrap, right? Um, so that was Leonardo. Let's see. Here is Raphael. A neat red neon Raphael. And these were limited, so you can only buy one of each of the Ninja Turtles per customer from the Funko shop. So I like that, that they keep people from going on there. I'm going to buy 50 of them and just flood the market, you know. Um, it makes it more of a collectible, you know, harder to get a hold of. Um, and then hopefully they have some some uh, higher value down the road. Um, not that you always buy them for investment purposes, but, you know, it, it's cool to have. And then uh, Donatello, purple, pretty neat. And these are all 8-bit uh, Ninja Turtle figures, so they're really... Really cool. I like the 8-bit stuff lately. Uh, they've done a really good job with those. Just a, a neat um, nostalgic feel to them. And finally, the last one is the Joker of the group, Michelangelo. And he's in a yellow or orange neon uh, with the Funko sticker on him. So, very cool. And they have the regular pictures on the back of the 8-Bit Turtles with Shredder and a foot, uh, one of the Foot Clan uh, ninjas. So, that was it. Pretty pretty neat stuff, though. A lot of fun uh, going out and searching for these pops and just seeing what you can find. You never know what's out there. I mean, I was surprised to find, you know, several of these Ghost Rider pops at my local comic shop. Uh, like I said, the rest of them I picked up at Hot Topic. The one uh, Batgirl I got at Barnes & Noble. I got three or four of them from Walmart. The Stan Lee uh, was at Walmart. And then, um, of course, the three uh, Supernatural Pops that I was able to pick up on eBay. So if you've got questions about Pops, let me know. I mean, everybody's got them out there. They're all over the place. You can see my wall behind me uh, getting a little higher every day. And uh, I'll have more down the road, and I'll do more shows. So definitely send me questions. Uh, if you're looking for something, let me know. I see stuff all the time. Uh, otherwise, you know, go out there, buy more toys, and read more comics. Thanks for watching.